Hi, I'm going to show you how to find and use Python packages on the Upmarks and HPC2 and computer clusters using pip, which is the recommended way to do it on Capnikaiser. On Rackham, use Conda, but I won't discuss this here. Uh, pip works on both clusters reasonably well. How to find packages is quite easy. I will show this on Upmarks. Uh, the module system here will give you some nice clear information. Uh, these two lines, spoiler, is already uh, equivalent because if you do module help on Python, it will give you the help for would you have typed module help Python for the version 3.11.4 as on Upmax. This is the most recommended version. So let's do this on, um, on Rackham module. Module help Python. This will show you some module specific help, but already we see here that it shows the module specific help for Python 3.11.4 and then at the bottom it shows packages that come pre-installed with it so it says more, that means press space to get to the next um, to, to continue the list and here you see that there are a lot of packages already installed when you just load that module if I really want to see the help of a specific Python version sure I can add that too and in this case I get exactly the same list. So this is one way how to find packages but let's say you want to see if a Python package is installed uh, so pip is the program, the, one of the standard programs to install Python packages so I need to load the specific Python version module load Python 3.11.4 also you get the system Python version, you don't want that at all. You want to load a Python module. And if I do pip list, I get a list of all Python modules that are installed. If you use pip3 list, it gives you a list of all Python 3 packages installed. Because if you load this module, uh, if you load this module, this will use Python 3, that's what this 3 means. So pip3 and pip will do exactly the same thing, because if you load Python 3, then pip will call pip3. So they, they, they all align together. Um, but let's say you want to you wanna make sure, you want to, so it's nice to see it in a list, but now it's, let's say you have a Python script, you want to see if it's installed there, let's say you're just guessing here. Well. In Bash you load Python, I already did that, and then you start Python. You can use Python or Python 3. It's the same thing because I load the Python version uh, that starts with the 3. I'm going to do Python, and as you can see, um, it really is the Python version I expected, 3.11.4, because that was the module I loaded. And then I'm just going to import Pandas. So Pandas is a Python package. Let's install import it. Import Pandas. If this works, there will be no output. If Pandas is not installed, it will give an error. So this works completely cleanly. I will show you how it looks like if you if if you if you use a package that's not installed. For example, this is a random Python package that is not installed. It will give me an error that it cannot find it. Of course, this name is nonsense, but I just want to show you how it looks like if it is installed and how it's not installed. So, how to install a pack? Let's say you want to do it yourself. Then, after loading a Python module, you can use pip or pip3. It's the same if you do if you load Python 3. Pip install dash dash user and then my package. For example, dash dash user pandas. So we know pandas is already installed, but I'm going to show you how it looks like if it is already installed. Let's take a look. Pip install dash dash user pandas this is how it looks like it will look for some modules that uh, that may or may not be installed um, let's go to the top requirement requirement already satisfied so it checks if it needs to install other things it doesn't it's already done uh, but this is how you could install a package that is not on the cluster yet Alright, so here I showed you how to find and use packages using pip on upmax and hpc2n. I wish you a very good day. Bye.